How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel and this is a What's In Your Drawers, again 2024 but it's almost like an introductory to a new gene. I'm going to introduce you guys to the Rhino gene. So I'm going to give you a real, real quick story. Back in the day I brought two pastel females which were het clone. I went and picked them up, they looked completely different to what I knew of a pastel head clown. Now they were kind of identical in a way that they both shared the same sort of traits, what was going on, a lot of blushing and a very unique head stamp or a head pattern. Uh, and a very different color tone as well, almost like a hypo look to them. So um, fast forward, bred the one female and made some strange babies back in 2017. If you look back on my Instagram as well, around about 2017, you'll see me holding a picture of a clown and it just looked different. And I knew it was different, but we couldn't keep it. So I ended up selling uh, the, the project itself and I sold it to a gentleman up north. He then got out the hobby and a good friend of mine, Alan, over at No Limit Morphs, actually went and picked up the project or picked up the original female that produces crazy babies. Now that produced some crazy babies and at the time we didn't know again what was going on we knew there was a gene in there because it kind of replicated itself we got animals that looked like mom we had animals that clowns that we'd never seen before um and I, again I've, I've shared this along the way and i was actually calling it the thing the thing gene um and the thing gene sort of a, a few people liked it a few people didn't the, the name that is but before he got out, he bred the female one more time. And this time I sent down a different male. I sent him a lesser clown male. As a result of that pairing, we got no lesser clowns. Uh, I just wanted to keep the pairing fairly simple because the original mom, again, was a pastel het clown. So I sent him down a lesser clown. This is the second season that he's bred her. And from that, she didn't... Um, produce anything lesser however she did partho and in that clutch was super rhinos which i'll show you in a moment so alan got out the project or got out the hobby and i picked picked up where he left off so i got the original mom back including one of her daughters and this is a, a baby from one of her the original mom daughters now the female is what I believe to be a pastel, possible super pastel, rhino hypo clown. So the original mom is actually a double het hypo clown. Again, crazy to think that I sent him a pastel male that was also het hypo, and we didn't find out she was het. Uh, we didn't find out the hypo gene was there until later on, until the animals started to grow and get a little bit bigger, which is nuts because. It, it, it's it's just adds to the mystery so fast forward to this baby so i bred to the pastel hypo sorry the pastel rhino hypo clown a chocolate spot nose het clown now what's also bizarre with this is that the dad that i produced to make this animal so again spot nose chocolate is elelic so you're either going to get spot nose combos or chocolate combos this is a female that i i held back so this is a pastel chocolate rhino clown het hypo but look at this female absolutely nuts so i was calling it the thing gene and i wanted to change the name so i changed it to the riot now, I found out, or someone found out, or told me that someone had already got the right name, so I had to rename it again. So I did loads and loads of digging, and as of yet, there is no rhino gene available, uh, as in no rhino gene taken, or the name rhino has not been taken for a gene. So um, I'm currently calling this the rhino gene, and I'm going to show you guys now a super rhino clown. And 
I've got more than one super as well, so which is nuts. So we already know due to the mom partho uh, parthoing um, that we that there's a super for this, so which is crazy. So this is a pastel chocolate rhino clown het hypo female, and you can see rhino gives this sort of neck pattern. It gives a bit of a unique head stamp. You also get a lot of blushing and the pattern is very broken up, okay? But you'll see what the super version looks like and, it, and it's just nuts. So I'll get that female out and I'll show you guys now. So here we have the super rhino clown. Guys, look at that. I have never, I mean, I bred a chocolate to it because I thought maybe it could be like a chocolate type gene or Wookiee, something like that. Uh, that's why the first animal you saw, I bred the chocolate spot nose to. Um, but it didn't produce anything like a super chocolate because this kind of reminded me a little bit of a super chocolate, but it's not. So this is a super rhino clown. Uh, again, I've renamed it. It was the thing, it was the riot, like I said, people had the, the thing I didn't really like and someone had already called uh, and named one of their genes Riot. So look at that head, just crazy. And uh, yeah, I'm super pleased. Um, obviously we're doing some stuff with it again this season. Uh, we're gonna be producing some more combos um, and just highlighting and showing off the Rhino gene itself, which I, I really wanna show off. Um, but yeah, super excited for this project. Again, if it wasn't for the mum partho in, then we wouldn't know there was a super. These are, this is a female, so obviously she's gonna take her sweet time growing up as usual, but the mum is absolutely massive. The original pastel rhino, het clown, het hypo is, is absolutely massive. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you a few more now from the rhino project. So here we have a Super Rhino Pastel. Nuts. Look at the two dots at the end of its nose or at the end of the eye stripe. Look at the two dots. It's absolutely crazy. Let me just show this. Come here, sweetheart. Just crazy. And the head is, again, typical of a Rhino head. Uh, it has almost like this cross effect on its head, on the blushing there. Um, I did hit in the clutch a Super Pastel Super Rhino. Um, unfortunately, she, she didn't do very well. Um, but again, with a Parfo clutch, you're gonna get some animals that may not do too great. But look at what it's done to the Pastel. It's just, it's nuts. <laughs> there's no way, there's no way to, 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 to explain it, it's nuts. Uh, so this is a super rhino pastel, again a female, we're just letting it, um, obviously they're taking their sweet time to grow up. I'm really hoping to get a male this season in the rhino project to hold back and uh, start putting back. I'd love to get just a rhino clown male just to start getting into other projects, but that just looks wild. Look at that. It's wild. So I'm gonna get out, um, we're gonna go a little bit backwards. I'm gonna get out one of the daughters that made the first animal that I showed you. So we're gonna get her out so I can show you exactly uh, that female and see what's going on as well. So this next animal I'm gonna show, I'm gonna try and show you, is actually the daughter from the original mum. And this is a pastel rhino hypo clown. And this female, produced that animal, the first animal that you saw. Look at the head on this girl, guys. She is just, the rhino gene is really something else. I mean, it's keeping those colors. I mean, hypo and clown work so well, uh, and hypo and pastel work really well. But the rhino gene, again, you can see on the neck, the pattern looks really crazy. The crazy blushing and the coloration of this animal, um, is just, it's super yellow, it's, it's very vibrant. And again, the head is just 
it's just crazy. So I'm, I'm looking forward to making some more stuff with this female this season. The I love the Hypo Clown project. I think the Hypo Clown project is fantastic. Let me just keep a cool. Stay there, sweetheart. But you can see um, exactly what the rhino gene is doing to this animal. It's just making it look so funky. The head, the neck, all the blushing down the back is, is just evident. We've got this beautiful sort of greenish hue coming up the sides. Uh, and again, the rhino gene working super well with this female. Um, again, when this hatched, we had no idea. This was hatched at Alan's place over at No Limit Morphs. And when, <laughs> when he showed me, I was like, dude, I don't know what the hell is going on with this. Um, but it's interesting and let's just keep pushing forward with the project and again the rhino does all this banding you can see along the neck here and just really opens up the pattern as it comes down um, so yeah and obviously didn't realize that the mom was het hypo as well and obviously we didn't realize that the dad the original dad that made this female was also het hypo it's not a bad problem to have is it um, so yeah, let's look at the original mom. She is super big and I mean, she's massive. So I can just about get her in frame. Here is the Rhino double het hypo clown, obviously pastel. So pastel Rhino, but guys, look at the head on this girl. Okay. So typical Rhino, it's got this sort of like the Rhino gene has this sort of blushing, that blushing. The super is really, you know, it really makes that amplified and really shows, you know, it doubles the amount of pattern, uh, the amount of blushing on the head. And again, you can see with this female, she's got this sort of blushing down the side. And again, this sort of unique pattern look to her, which is indicative of the rhino gene. Yeah, this girl's just not going to stay still. But look at the size of her. And again, she's got this different color hue to her. It's hard to get it across on camera. It's almost like a greeny hue um, to it. Um, but, I mean, she's just stunning. She absolutely smashes food. This season, I am breeding her and her daughter that you just saw. She's breeding a blackhead Enchi Het Clown. Because I just want to get some more base Rhino combos on the ground without the clown attached that way we can take it into other stuff so we're not just making clown stuff we can take the rhino into pied we can take it into puzzle we can take it into monsoon we can take it into sunset we can take it into so many different directions but i wanted to show the rhino project off to you guys and just get your feedback let me know what you guys think what if you had the rhino gene what would you do um, I am. I, I, I haven't seen anything out there that is the same as the rhino. Now, obviously, it's come from somewhere. I don't know where these original animals came from. Um, I, I didn't really get them from a particular well-known breeder. Back in the day, I think it was 2014, I was just after some pastel het clowns to make some super pastel clowns or killer clowns because that was the thing back in the day you know killer pa killer clowns super pastel clowns nowadays we try to avoid it but i do still think there's a place for pastel in clown um so i don't know where it's come from if you guys know of a gene which looks exactly the same or could be the same please comment in the comment box below um, I haven't let these, it's not a money spinning thing. It's not like I'm reinventing a gene. I really don't know where this gene came from. I can't trace the breeders that I got these original animals from. This is one of the original females and I don't know where the other, the other sister went for this particular animal. But for now guys, I hope you're all well. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. Also consider subscribing. A, subscri a subscription absolutely means the world. And if you are gonna subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell and make sure your notification bells are icons or notifications are switched on. But for now guys, I hope you're all well. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.